Barbie Horse Adventures Mystery Ride is a spectacular video game from start to finish, and one of the PC's most influential titles. And in this video, I want to take a closer look at the smart design choices made throughout, which helped the series become one of gaming's most popular to this very day. So let's not waste any more time and giddy up. Mystery Ride's clever design choices begin right off the bat at its menu, with no words used on screen whatsoever. It immediately engages players by setting them a relatively tricky challenge, working out which picture they actually need to click on to begin a new game. And it's a nice touch that players can add a level of personalisation by choosing a name for their file as well. On this occasion, we'll be using Kenneth. A short but sweet cutscene kicks things off and tells players everything they need to know. Teresa's horse Lucky has been stolen, and Barbie needs to rescue her before the horse show begins a few hours later. This is a wise decision on developer Blue Monkey Games' part, as it gets players into the experience quickly and without running the risk of them getting bored at this very early stage. And once players take control of Barbie, it soon becomes clear that this commitment to well-thought-out storytelling in cutscenes is mirrored by Mystery Ride's in-world details. Players will most likely notice the chickens and chicks in the same area next to a nearby house, a clear sign to attentive players that the chicks may in fact be the children of those chickens, and the choice of location for the ducks nearby carries with it the implication that ducks enjoy water. They're easy details to miss, but this is in-world storytelling the likes of which had rarely been seen when the game was released back in 2003, and it's great that players are treated like adults and trusted to make these connections themselves, rather than them being spoon-fed like so many other titles used to do. After taking advantage of the game's robust customization options, choosing a horse named Toffee and a dashing yellow top, players also have the opportunity to get acquainted with three of the game's primary mechanics, riding, the slingshot and herding, in a safe setting before Mystery Ride becomes much tougher later on. There's not much to say about riding and the slingshot, but herding has an extraordinary design choice built into it, one which may be my favourite in any video game I've covered. As I'm sure you're aware, most if not all games on the market at the time featured some kind of herding mechanic, but consoles and PCs simply didn't have the processing power required to create a realistically sized herd. But this problem is solved with ease in Mystery Ride, and in the most ingenious of ways, by making one animal sound like seven. Great riding, Barbie! Beginning the search for Lucky, players are introduced to bonus bags, rewards for those who take the time to search off the beaten track. Each will contain either flowers or paint, which can be used to decorate the area where the horse show's prizes will later be awarded, a great way of ensuring collectibles have a real and tangible effect in world, and a real motivator for players as well. And it's here I want to talk briefly about the horse riding mechanic, because it is fantastic. Not only does it control extremely well, but players can choose to walk or canter, and they can even choose whether jumping is done manually or automatically. Indeed, it's so good that its influence on video games can be seen to this day in the likes of Red Dead Redemption 2 and The Witch. Witcher 3. It was allegedly even an inspiration for Nintendo when developing Ocarina of Time's horse riding mechanics as well, which is particularly impressive given Ocarina of Time was released some five years before Mystery Ride. Moving on, these squirrels and their animations are a clear example of why Mystery Ride was the most expensive game ever made at the time of its release, and that budget also allowed Blue Monkey to include game-changing features such as metal detection, which Barbie uses not long after to find her first of four clues. Players are then tasked with completing a horseshoe matching puzzle section, and like many of the puzzles featured throughout the game, it may be a little tricky for anyone who's not either extremely intelligent or a seasoned gamer. Using the mouse as a brush is also a really nice touch, which makes it feel like you really are brushing dirt off horseshoes, and helps keep things engaging even when it may take some players a little while to find the correct solution. Next up, players meet their first NPC, and it's here I want to highlight a slight faux pas in terms of the dialogue. Well, actually, I'm looking for my friend Teresa's missing horse. She's black. Not sure that's entirely relevant, Barbie. Describing her as my friend Teresa probably would have sufficed. Cantering swiftly on, players then take on their first real herding challenge, and again, a similar trick is used to make a herd of five goats sound much more like a herd of between 11 and 13 goats. And after picking up another clue and watching the gate to the next area swing open as if by magic, which is very sloppy given how much care is paid to the little details elsewhere, players head to the water mill. That was an awesome jump! With some extra encouragement thrown in by Barbie, which isn't entirely necessary, but is done with purpose as it helps make players feel warm and fuzzy immediately before Mystery Ride introduces a fairly tough slingshot challenge. Another clue and another magic gate later, players run across an apple tree which has a sack full of paint stuck in it. The apples in the tree are also used well to gradually expand on the horse riding mechanic. 
Players have had the time to learn to ride their horse, and now they can feed it as well. Having kept players on a rather narrow, but admittedly also very engaging path, Mystery Tour briefly opens up, introducing a small town with different shops for players to explore. By completing challenges in each, they receive more hints that will help them solve the mystery, as well as marvellous rucksacks containing more flowers and paint. And there's even some quite left field but ingenious game design thrown in outside this building, which players can't enter until they unlock it using the chicks outside. Chick activated locks weren't something gamers had ever seen prior to Mystery Ride, but they've become a common feature in AAA games since, and it all started here. The next section features a surprise Disney tie-in, with Pinocchio's Geppetto setting Barbie her next task. That next task being to <clears throat> find some wood in order to fill a hole. Innuendo aside, this is a far more brilliant tie-in than first meets the eye. The inclusion of Geppetto is fantastic in and of itself, but players should also take note of the task they're asked to complete. Much like Geppetto created the wooden Pinocchio to fill a metaphorical hole in his heart, here Barbie has to <clears throat> find some wood in order to fill a far more literal hole. It's a wonderful merger of both the characters themselves and their respective stories. Moving on to Mystery Ride's desert area, players will no doubt notice a narrowing of the environments they're asked to navigate on horseback, a great way of ramping up the difficulty in a manner that feels very natural. Exploring the cave at the end of this section, the game reuses the metal detector mechanic, which I don't have a huge problem with considering it's only the second time it comes into play, and after scouring the area, players will find a badge and some hair buried in the cave. But there's little time to think about that, with the game keeping the pace fast and throwing players into a horse race almost straight after. Mystery Ride does a good job of offering players a built-in difficulty setting during this race through the use of winners' knapsacks littered across the course. Players particularly confident in their horse riding ability can take a slower line to pick them up, and those who aren't can choose to avoid them entirely. As Mystery Ride edges closer to its conclusion, the game throws in one final challenge which puts everything players have learned to the test. First, they have to complete a slingshot challenge. Next, use a set of four shapes in a certain order to open a cash register. And finally, use the order of those shapes to open a padlock attached to the train. The developers also made the sensible choice to include a hint at the top of the screen during the padlock puzzle. It's subtle, and I'd imagine most will have missed it, but it's a handy addition for those who can't quite figure out this tricky shape-based conundrum. One piece of great sound design later. She's fine. And players finally find Lucky hidden on the train. But the mystery's not been solved quite yet, and just as players may think the game is coming to an end, Blue Monkey throws in one last twist surely no one saw coming. They task players with figuring out who committed the crime using a lineup of fairly similar looking cowboys using the clues they picked up during their journey, with Kathy Bates also being one of the choices for some reason. It's a lovely way to take everything players experience during the game and tie it together in one neat package, which I'm sure was a real aha moment for the millions who have played Mystery Ride since its release some 18 years ago. Players are then rewarded for their efforts during the final scene, as Teresa wins the competition and is presented with the trophy. This scene also takes place in the area decorated with the many paints and flowers players collected by picking up the lucky satchels, which is a lovely final flourish. And there's even a further gift in the form of a foal, which players can then feed and brush to their heart's content as part of Mystery Ride's robust, free-form post-game content. That post-game content is something I'd guess the majority of players jumped right into as well, because Barbie Horse Adventure's Mystery Ride is a magnificent experience, a video game tour de force we'll likely never see again. Everything is top tier, from the puzzles to the many goats to the horse riding, with the bizarre example of Barbie profiling her friend Teresa and the somewhat odd inclusion of Kathy Bates, the only real negatives I can think of. If you're watching this and you have already played it, which I'm sure is most likely the case, go play it again. And if you haven't, then what are you waiting for? Saddle up and get cracking, because you're in for an absolute treat. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch the video, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, do consider liking, subscribing and letting me know your thoughts, it all really helps the channel. And keep your eyes peeled for my next few videos covering the rest of the Barbie Horse Adventures series. Because if you're looking for the best in Barbie video game news, reviews and analysis, Ben Plays Barbie is the place to be.